Little money saving tip for you. If you're gonna make things out of half inch plywood, on these campers, you generally don't have to buy a whole lot beyond the walls. Cause I got at least one, two, three, I've got, cause we use six panels. So I've got six from the top. And the smaller Scotties, even more, not more than six, but more wood left over, cause they're not as tall. So I just, uh, let's look, here it is. Put the puzzle back together. So I just took this and cut that one out of there. And now that's the door side. The not the door side, it doesn't have to have this because it's gonna have the potty closet there to stop the uh, cushions from flying. So you just do the bottom part. So I sat this like this. Nope, not like that. Like this. So I just trimmed it off. And then that piece came out from, oh, this is jigsaw puzzle right here. So I'm reusing what I've already spent and already budgeted for the walls. Save money. So we're gonna build these because like I told you in the last video, we gotta build these and get the dinette set, the seating anyway, that then we can work backwards from there. So to get these going, I have got to decide which side. Well, I don't decide, it's already decided for me. This is going on that side. So this is gonna be the inside. This is the edge I want to trim up. So I'm going to use yeah, that old router bit right there. Can you see it? I use this bit a lot. This is the same one we use on our cabinets. So I'm just gonna trim up here just to make it, you know, when you bump into it, make it just nice and smooth and a nice, nice little curve, and it's gonna match the, uh, it's gonna match the uh, cabinet doors. Just as easy as that. Now, this gives us a real, well, that wasn't even the right side. So that gives us a real smooth area right there. I'm still gonna sand it. Um, if I was going to go to Amber Shellac, I'm not sure I would do that. I might, I might. I think I did before, I better say I will. But we're painting. This one's gonna have some paint in it, plus Amber Shellac. So um, this is gonna get painted, but I'm gonna sand it down with some 220 grit. And uh, once I get through this step with this side, I'm gonna start building it. I'll show you a couple little key details that you don't wanna miss when you're building your dinette seating. Got some pieces cut out here. I'll show you how I like to do it. Uh, I don't have the legs cut because I wanna wait till I get ready to set it and then I'll put those on and I'll show you when I get there. But let's, uh, let's start here. This is gonna be the piece that runs along the front. And there's gonna be a piece of Luan that'll go from here down to the bottom just to make it look nice. I made it this thick instead of this thick because you're gonna to have to drop down a half to three quarters of an inch here on the outside here and put another board to catch the table to make a bed. And I'll show you that when we get there. Um, but that's a little bit down the road. So first thing I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this piece, and I don't know if you can see, I made some pencil marks. Can you see them? Kind of where I want these to lay. So I know I want my front piece right here. So I made my pencil marks. And then I want this to go right here because this is what, I had to leave a half inch right here because that's where, I say for the sake of argument, this is our seat, your seat's gonna sit there and you don't want it to sit up too high. All right, now, I've got my nail gun here. So, I'm just going to try to put a couple of tacks right in there where they should go 
just to hold it. Because we're going to come back with some, uh, some screws on all the joints. Because really, I mean, you're sitting on it, right? You don't want it. You do not want this to fall in when you sit on it. So we'll hit some screws in all the right places. Okay, so I know I'm good right there. Now I can put this right there on my nail mark. I'm gonna flip this around to make my life easier. Pull it out over the edge. And then just and get a couple right here. Okay, so, there we go. All right, now, I've gotta get one on this side. Now this is the part that's gonna go up against the wall. And you, before you put the skin on, you're gonna screw through the wall into this. Not here, there, from the outside in. So, let me hit this a couple of times. Maybe, sorta, kinda. Again, I'm just trying to get this to sit still for me so I can make more measurements is all I'm really doing right now. Then right here, boy, let me adjust this camera. We're kinda going up a little bit. There we go. I think that'll help. Don't you love it when I come up there and make weird faces as I'm adjusting that? I don't, I'm sorry about that. So this, these two, should be pretty even right here. If I measure correctly. And it looks about right. So I'm gonna put this to the outside. Go right here. Tack it in. Dangerous game I'm playing, keeping my finger there, but anything for you. Now, we're gonna want to have something for our seat because this is going to be storage right here. So we're gonna kinda, kind of in the middle, but not really because we need something, it'll be on the other side, but I'm showing you on this side, that we're gonna put our uh, hinges on. So we're gonna cut a piece this wide, we're gonna cut a piece that'll sit on top of this one, so it'll be this wide, and this one will hinge up. This one will just be nailed in. So let's make sure that we're pretty close. I've got, I'm gonna move that at 10, put this, whoa, we were way off. Way off. Wow, come on now. I know we're square, I hope we're square. That's real close to 10. Now we're way off here. Let's see what's going on here. Eight. Hey, we're pretty close. We're pretty close, let's just. What's this happening now? Nope, wrong way, wrong way. There we go, I think that's gonna hit it. So I'll knock a couple in right here. And I'll probably just go from the side on this one because this one's gonna get screws in it because really this is gonna take the brunt of your seating position if you know what I mean. So when you flop down on this, you really want some screws in this guy. So here's what we look like so far. Now, I will probably put a leg. This is gonna be going into the front wall. So it'll screw in that into something on the other side of the wall as well for support. But I will put a leg going down here that will get screwed into the wall to give you some real good support on top of this being screwed in. 
And then on this side, I'll put one here and one here. And then I'll put that Luan across the front of that. And then just for safety's sake, I'll run one down here. Just, just because, because that's, that's where you're going to sit. And then when I got that, I think we're going to be just fine. And uh, I've got to go cut those pieces, and you don't need to watch that. But when I get them cut and get them set, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, here's what we're looking at, if you can see it. So I added a, the same size as the cross right here because a little extra is never going to hurt. One leg, two legs, three legs in the front. That's going to take the brunt, especially when you're trying to make this into a bed. I put one in the front here, one in the back here, and then this is going to be screwed in here anyway. So here's about where we want to go. All right, here. Now, I can see where I made a mistake. There is going to be, oh, it's a two by four cut down and it's gonna run across here at about, oh, inch and three quarters right through here. Just like, like that, all the way across. But that's okay. I can cut it down and out. That way I can still go into the floor if I want or if I don't have that much time, or much time, if I don't have that much space, I'll just cut it haunted. World headquarters is haunted. I can cut it just up to whatever height it's gonna be, and I can screw it right into that. So we're okay there. Gonna have to do the same thing on this side, but that doesn't even matter because this is getting screwed into the wall. So it's not going to really rely on putting stress on this board. But if we can cut it perfectly to sit on that board, it'll take some stress off. Plus, putting it in here into the wall will take some stress off of it. So this is going to go here. Now, when we go to cut our front piece of Luan nice and square until we get here, because it has to follow this curve on the inside. And I'm probably not going to cut that until I put this front piece of Luan on, the front of the ceiling, the beginning of it. Uh, so I'm pretty good where I'm at right here. I'll probably go cut down a two by four and put this on so I can set that and I'll have everything I need. Um, so again, this is going to uh, be flat. Of course, it's a seat and it's going to uh, be stationary and then there'll be hinges and this whole part will flip up you can get into your storage now over here for the door let me see if i can climb in here i don't know if you can see it but we've got just about three quarters of an inch right here let me move that out of the way so the door is going to come in right here and it's going to have about i don't know a quarter to a half inch on that lip so it ought to come in here real nice. So we've got this, if this, if I measured properly, we'll hit there. We got a half to three quarters right there. And I can always cut that down if I need to, but we're gonna put the front on and then we'll know where we can put our door. That's where I'm at. I'm just gonna go do the other side. You don't need to watch that because it's just like this, except without that top part.